All right, so let's add another piece of information to the attribute table. So let me get rid of this and delete all of this. And let's just, first of all, let's see what other kind of data is in here. So um, let's print the row here, the entire row, print row. And let's just see if anything seems interesting. Like maybe the timestamp or um, it's like meters per second. I don't know what enhance. Here we go. BPM. That's cool. Uh, heart rate 92. Let's get heart rate 92. I think that would be cool to add. All right. So I guess we have to count all the way out to there. So. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 is the number. All right, I think 22. So let's print row 22 and it should be, looks like nine, something 90, right? So let's, Make sure that's right. Oh, that's okay. That's because we didn't delete this. Let's try this again. Yep, 92, 92. Okay. So let's just, instead of printing it, let's assign this to a variable. So we can say heart rate equals row 22 and now in our chords list basically we just need to add this piece of information so you know how we have we're appending um, a tuple of position and degrees so what we need to do is we actually have to put this whole thing in another tuple so I'm just gonna make those spaces so it's a little easier. So see how this is in a tuple? Let's put that whole thing in a tuple. And now put a comma here, and this is where we wanna put the heart rate. So now we're assigning a heart rate. You'll see. So let's just, let's print this and print the chords list. And let's see if this makes sense to you guys. God, I always do that. All right, so basically here's one value, here's another value, and we want to, we want to keep them together, but we want to keep the, the, coordinate, the latitude, longitude, they have to be in their own tuple. And then this has to be in a separate tuple or a separate thing, but it has to be inside this, if that makes sense. Sorry, I'm doing a bad job explaining that, but that's pretty much what it has to look like. Um, so yeah, the next thing, how can we incorporate this in our shape file so we have to create a new field right because we just have a blank shape file with no no field there so if we go back to my uh, github i did this the other day so create points with field this is what we need to do so we need to do this right here arcpy add field management and we're gonna do, call this um, heart rate. And for now, let's just leave it as a text, even though it is a number, but it, it is technically a string, I think. Um, so what do I have to do next? So basically all we have to do now is in our insert cursor, remember where we first, we just had shape at XY. We just need to now include this new field. So let's uncomment this out. And this is going to be called heart rate. And 
basically what it's doing, it's looking at the order of things in this list, right? So it knows heart rate, it's going to be looking for the first item. And then for shape at XY, it's going to be looking for the second item. Um, all right, let's look at this. And for some reason, we have to get rid of the array here. So we just have to get rid of the array. All right, I think this looks good. Let me delete this. Yeah, let's uh, give that a whirl. With any luck, this will work. All right, let's refresh this. Now we open the attribute table, we should see heart rate. There we go. And it is in fact changing. It's not just a static number. Cool. So now the only other thing I kind of want to do is I want to get the latitude longitude here. So there's a couple of different ways we could do this. We could just make a new field, two new fields called um, latitude longitude, but that information's already in, like built into this shape file, right? Cause we already gave it that information. So we need to use something called the field calculator. I think so. Where's that thing? Oh, well, you know what? We actually we do need to make the field. So up here. Oops, I'm just going to make two new fields. Why is that not copying? And let's just call this lat long. Actually, I think there's a smarter way to do this. So I'm just going to Google archpy add xy. And this is what we, we want to add these xy coordinates. So there, this is actually a tool. So. We should just be able to do this, arcpod uh, management dot add x y, and we should just be able to put this at the end of our script after we've already given it the points. So we don't want to do this up here because at this point it doesn't have any x y values. So we just need to give it the in feature. So this is just our new shape file. New shape file. So yeah, let's try that. Um, let's delete this. I really should turn on the um, overwrite. You can just add something here that says overwrite equals true. Basically, and it'll just overwrite it, but <laughs> too lazy to do that. All right, let's run this. Cool. That looks good. Let's just take a look. Drag it in, open this up, and there we go, point X and point Y. Cool, that is all I wanted to show you guys. Um, yeah, if that was helpful, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.